list of stocks. Well, time to focus on the oil and gas space. And Harsh Pradhana Dole, the uh, vice uh, president of Institutional Equities, joins us on the show. Um, hi, Harsh. Uh, good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, the OMCs have been buzzing off late, right? Uh, uh, you know, what's your view on the stocks from year on? Obviously, there's a risk getting into an election year. But uh, how are you, you know, how are you viewing things from the OMCs? Hi, good morning. So the way we see things, the macro environment for oil marketing companies has improved considerably. Our view on oil price is that uh, while oil may not see a runaway increase, it may not fall substantially unless the global consumption deteriorates or worsens. So if oil remains anywhere between 70 and $75 per a barrel, it's a Goldilocks situation for OMCs in general. And to that extent, we are forecasting record high profits in first quarter and a stellar performance in FY24. So much so that whatever net worth was eroded in FY23, more than that will get restored in FY24. And to that extent, we like OMCs over all other players in the sector. Uh, there's a peculiar element here. Surprisingly, the government has decided to pump in money in all the three OMCs. And that, that's the reason why you have IO and BP announcing rights issue. Uh, we'll have to see how HPCL uh, takes ahead this particular fund mobilization. But in general, we like the OMC as an asset class and we remain bullish. So what happens to HPCL? There is no government holding there. Uh, so how do you think HPCL will go about raising their funds? Well, while BP and IO have a direct government shareholding, and to that extent, your as well as my share, uh, you know, interest in terms of shareholding are protected. There is no dilution to my interest. I sincerely hope uh, that my interest as a minority shareholder are protected while HPCL is going to raise capital. And I actually don't have a direct answer to it. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that, you know, my interests are not, you know, diluted. I'm sure the government will take care of it. Uh, Harsh, uh... <clears throat> Sorry, what is your rating on all three names now? So amongst the three, we like BPCL the most, followed by IOCL and HPCL. Uh, what we have seen traditionally is these stocks move in packs. So, uh, you know, HPCL is typically the high beta and therefore it gives the highest returns. BPCL, given the balanced portfolio that it has, gives returns which are in sync with, you know, the sector. And IOCL, given the low beta, it typically lags their sectoral returns. But as a pack, we like all the three. Okay, uh, <clears throat> you like all three. Uh, are you getting a lot of questions from investors uh, around this rights issuance, the infusion? So investors were first taken aback as to uh, why the need to infuse capital. Because if you look at the history of all the three OMCs, at least since I've been tracking them for last, you know, you know, uh, maybe 15 years or so, these companies have grown their businesses regardless of cycle without diluting equity. I mean, last year was perhaps the worst year in terms of their operations, but uh, still they managed to keep their head above the water and they grow their business. So uh, across the cycles, the return ratios, cash flows have been impeccable. And to that extent, investors are a bit surprised as to why uh, raise capital at this particular juncture and we'll have to see what the, the government as well as its respective managements have to offer in terms of these comments. Yes, we are getting a lot of inward queries and that is quite reflected in this, their respective stock prices. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, by the way, uh, in your assessment, uh, will uh, MRPL and Chennai Petro uh, be eligible for some, for, this, for, the, for some of these funds? Uh, see, as far as uh, our understanding is, mm. it appears that the government is injecting money, which was uh, set aside during the budget. And uh, the budgetary compensation was strictly towards, you know, undertaking the energy transition projects. So if I were to corroborate that, uh, this money was set aside only for the oil marketing companies. Okay. I'm not sure whether MRPL and CPCL are eligible for that, because in MRPL, there is no direct government holding. It is held through HPCL and MRPL, whereas in Chennai Petro, it's a 51% shareholding uh, is owned by IOC. So even if the government were to inject, uh, I'm not sure what mechanism will have to be triggered. Okay, uh, Harsh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for your time. Good speaking with you.
Uh, and uh, it's a pleasure, as always, having you here on CNBC. There's uh, six minutes to go for Mark.